We're in outlaw territory here in the anchorage. Oh! 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 All right, no engine. It's just a different experience when you don't hear that motor. We're Michael and Joel, and the star of the show is Lola. Our home is a sailboat, and we live for adventure. Subscribe and join us for honest, relatable stories that entertain and inspire. Thank you to our patrons for keeping the dream alive. Let's go, baby! These are the tales of Boab. Sun's coming up. Beautiful morning. I'm a little sleepy. How you doing, Michael? I am wide awake. She's wide awake. Yeah. I think you just need to step behind this wheel if you want to wake up. I might do that. So we left uh, Guananica, which, you know, we were anchored in front of that little island called Gilligan's Island. We left at about 5.15 a.m. this morning, and we're on our way to Ponce. It's now 6.30. 6.30, okay, so we've been going for a little over an hour. We've done 4.8 nautical miles, and we're averaging about four and a half knots. Not bad. Yeah, so we're gonna do some provisioning in Ponce, and we're just making our way east, trying to get in before the winds pick up, but we actually have a few days of pretty calm weather, so we're gonna try to make the most of that and make some miles this week. Advice for your future self? Advice for my future self? Yeah. Huh. Don't drink coffee first thing in the morning. Oh, really? Eat some food first. How about you, Poopsie? Any advice for your future self? Yeah. Don't get adopted by people who live on a sailboat. If you've seen some of our previous episodes, then you'll know that Joel is the breakfast maestro. He makes an amazing bacon, eggs, potato, garlic, pepper fusion, but it's kind of tough to get that going when you're, leave you're waking up at 4 a.m. to get underway at 5.30. So we do have some, you know, nice Nature Valley granola bars, but we both just kind of forgot to eat and it just so happens that he's more affected by that kind of thing than I am. But I think he's pulling through. So we learned yesterday from our new friend Herbie from the rigging doctor that Ponce is actually the largest city in Puerto Rico. Most people would think it's San Juan, but San Juan technically is not because it's spread out outside of San Juan borders. So we're entering the biggest city in Puerto Rico right now. Well, we're almost in, less than a mile, and the sky just got really dark. Clouds came out, it seems like we might get rained on here. We're rolling into Ponce, and we're just gonna anchor outside the marina, which seems to be the only anchorage here. Um, there's also a really cool lighthouse I wanna show you guys. Try one more little motor tack and then 
drop the main if, uh, if we can't keep wind in it. I think we're just going directly into it. So we've done our lap here in the Ponce Anchorage and it's about 30 feet everywhere we go and everybody's on a mooring ball so we don't want to anchor too close because we're going to swing quite a bit so we're going to go back to basically the entrance. We came in further just to see if we can find shallower water but we couldn't and it's just really tight. We also heard from uh, two boats, friends of ours that are ahead of us that the holding here wasn't very good so we're going to see what old Manny the Mantis can do. Okay, so we dropped anchor in 30 feet of water here. We just backed it down. It feels like we held pretty good. Um, but we're not really happy about being in 30 feet of water. So we're gonna just uh, hang out here and then maybe we'll move into the dock. We're not sure yet. Nice job, Lola. You're learning how to vlog like a pro. <laughs> All right, I noticed they got bumpers out on their port side so I think they must have called ahead. Their plan was to get onto a dock because they got a big package. So here comes the Caterpillar Cruise. Woo oh, are you singing Lola? Who is your... that old girl? Oh you know who that is. Who is it old girl? That's Caterpillar. Oh! Oh! We're in outlaw territory here in the anchorage where nobody's anchored. There's just some abandoned boats on mooring balls. Yeah, we're not going to be here long. Lola and I are at the beach. So we got Lola off the boat and Michael went in with Bill and Dana Lee to do a little provisioning and we'll be, oh, I'm gonna play a little fetch with Lola, just get her to stretch her legs a bit and then we'll head back to the boat and we got a good eye on Shock Mate. She's right there. It's blowing pretty hard and in 30 feet of water, we're just keeping an eye on the boat, making sure A, that it's holding and B, we're trying to watch the swing and make sure we're swinging in a good radius. Lola, get the stick. Go get it. So this morning, we had a little bit more time. We didn't have to wake up at 4.30 a.m. So Michael made these epic bagels with cream cheese, eggs, and salmon. This is um, was all picked up on the provisioning run yesterday in Ponce. So that was probably the best and only reason to anchor here is because you can rent a car and get a taxi and there were a lot of things available. But we're moving on after just one night here in Ponce. We're heading to Coffin Island. We got our, our uh, little route plotted and it's just right where are ya? It looks further on there. There it is, just this little island out in the middle of nowhere. Let's go, baby. There's a boat that anchored after we did, and they're swinging pretty much on top of our anchor. Um, so, it literally looks like our anchor's right below their boat. But the wind is kind of making a shift, so we're just going to wait until until he kind of goes to one side or the other and try to pull our anchor. I, I'm a little nervous because it, if we have to kind of go directly over the top of our anchor and then cleat it off or put it under a cleat and drive over it to pluck this Manny the Mantis because it sets really strong. It's probably impossible to pull it up by hand without plucking it out of the mud or whatever it is on the bottom first. So, we'll see how this goes. Perfect! 
All right, Michael, take it out of gear. Out of gear. Okay. All right, go ahead and put it back in gear. We're gonna try to pull it now. I got it right over top. Okay. Morning. All right, Michael, we're out. We're free. Yeah. We're gonna try to sail today. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, Manny. I was looking at my feelings, Will, and I feel like it's time to pull the sail. Look at them go. Oh, look from there. So Coffin Island is not directly east from us. So we actually have a little bit of an angle on the wind. We can pull the head sail, I'm pretty sure. Let it out. down just below where it starts to shake. Okay, just above? Or above, yeah. Let's see what we're doing. All right, right now what we're doing is just cutting the motor. We're not cutting it yet, but we're idling all the way down. We're gonna put it in neutral and just see what kind of speed we're maintaining here. All right, if you're in neutral, go ahead and idle down. All right, no engine. It just took us, uh, I don't know how many miles since we left Luperon. Actually, we shut our engine off a couple times, but that was just because of emergency. And we weren't really sailing much because we were right into like calm winds. But right now, what's, what's our speed? Um, five knots. Five knots, no engine, let's go. It's just a different experience when you don't hear that motor and it's just sails. It's so much more peaceful and relaxing. Uh. Manny the Mantis seems pretty happy up there. You'll notice there's a lot more of the head sail. We pulled the entire thing out. Um, that's mainly because I knew Cliff Cliff is an experienced sailor from Luperon. He was definitely going to give us a hard time if he saw that. But now we have the full head sail out and we're almost doing six knots. Eee! Lola, doesn't that sound a lot better? The sound of no sound of diesel? What do you think, Lolo girl? Oh, really? Looks like we're coming in right with Caterpillar, coming into Isla Mor Morlatila. What was that again? Isla Moratila? Tia? Morta. Isla Caja de Muertos. Isla Caja de Muertos. I think it's easier to call it Coffin Island. All right, I gotta drop the main, get the anchor ready. So Michael had to remind herself today that the boat will not tip over. Yep, shout out to Emily from Emily and Clark's Adventure for writing the, the best boat will song not tip ever. Over. The boat will not tip over. This was the first time that we cut our engine just because we wanted to sail and not because we had an emergency and had to cut it. 
<laughs> since we left Luperon. Yeah. And that was exciting. We had the great angle on the wind headed here to Isla Caja de Muertos. Muertos. Coffin Island is what I'm going to call it. Coffin Island. We're about to explore Coffin Island. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to leave you guys here. Hope you enjoyed sailing with no diesel motor because I know we did. Oh, so much. Also. Yeah, we've made. Sorry to interrupt. Some other changes. Michael bought this for me about month, like three months ago or more. Yeah, so the company that makes this supplement is called Roots. Um, we're not sponsored by them. We paid for this. This is like a drink mix. It's called Energizing Superfood because it's got like all of these amazing i'm not gonna list the herba mate is one of my favorite ingredients out, you can look that up but yeah it's stuff that gives you energy with low <clears throat> oh excuse me with low amounts of caffeine because jill's pretty much allergic to caffeine and it makes him seasick yeah well yeah so today was a really good day i just ate the bagel didn't drink any coffee and i felt great so i'm gonna just lay off the coffee especially when we're sailing and i'm gonna switch to the superfood but i'm not even gonna do this until after we're underway it's gonna be food first yep that's making it a lot better for me so i'm still drinking my coffee i can't give up this stuff i love it not sure about Maddie's haircut. I think, I mean, it's okay. I wish maybe I could take a little more off. You just wish it was shorter? So yeah, it's it's cool though. Um, So we're gonna leave you here. We're about to check out Coffin Island yep. in the next episode. This water is beautiful oh. from the boat. We haven't got in yet. Yeah, probably the best water we've seen. Stay tuned, subscribe. Thanks to our patrons for following along on the GPS tracker yeah. and checking in and, you know, sharing weather and currents and all the fun stuff in our WhatsApp group. Funny stories, cool stories, all of it. We love it. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, shout out to Caterpillar. <laughs> Bye.